I came into any lab test uh, as a result of uh, I wasn't feeling good for about a week. I had some fevers at night, but I hadn't gone to my doctor. I just decided actually I wanted to pee in a cup, if you will. And as I got here, uh, I I decided that 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 wasn't what I wanted. I thought maybe I needed a PSA test, and I because I hadn't done that for a while, and so. Uh, Brittany was kind enough to explain the different menu of what was available uh, through uh, through what she offered. And uh, I have to say that I had no intention actually to have a blood test. Um, I was at the counter and she explained the CBC, which I didn't know what that was, and I, I actually turned to walk away. And you can call it divine intervention or whatever you would like. But I, I stopped and I turned back and uh, said, Brittany, that's what I want right there. And I pointed to the CDC. So that's where it started. He did. Uh, we, we did the whole blood workup for him. And bless his heart, he did not like the blood draw. We, we pulled the cot out for him and let him lay down and everything. So we got his blood draw going and he did great through all of it. And then I the don't next. Like needles. <laughs> Nobody does, but so the next morning at about 4.30, I got a call from Jane, who is our manager here at Any Lab Test now, and she called and told me that we had a critical result on patient, so I needed to come to the office. It was less than about 48 hours I was diagnosed with, you know, basically uh, had a biopsy uh, diagnosed with leukemia. Uh, it's the AML type and, and specifically it's they call it APL which is uh, which is very fast uh, onset and very aggressive growing and so I didn't have a lot of time and the thought hit me they don't realize that six months ago I completed the uh, Iron, St. George Ironman which is the most difficult in the continental US for Ironman and they don't know that just a month ago I completed, I, I ran the St. George Marathon, which I've done three or four times earlier. And so I couldn't believe that it could be me. We were also scheduled the next week to do another triathlon in, in um, out of town, out of state. And uh, my wife firmly believes that had I not had the experience uh, with Brittany, uh, that she would have, that we would have gone and she would have come back alone. Uh, and, you know, in talking to the doctors, when I went to Salt Lake, I was there for 37 days. It took me a few days to really realize how critical uh, this type of leukemia is. Uh, back before the 1980s, it was like 100% fatal because by the time they, they realized it, the, the person had already had internal bleeding. And uh, so I count my life uh, on the fact that I came to uh, to Brittany to the to the office and was and I'm here as a result of it. I don't know what else to add to that. Well, I can add something to it because uh, Brittany is a is a, a a very good example of anyone that uh, would be a professional in what she does. Uh, I think for me it was a personal miracle, but I think that Brittany was the person that God put there for me. And she did an excellent job. She never pressured me to do anything. She left it to be my my choice. But I knew that it was important. And that's why halfway to the door, I turned around and came back and I said, that's what I want to do. When I really didn't favor a, a needle. And it, it was pretty pushy. Yeah. No, you, you were very professional. Brittany is likable. Uh, she's, uh, you know, very easy to to be open with, and I, I really appreciated that. So when I come in to any lab test now, uh, I the what I do is I hug Brittany, and she's probably a little tired of me coming in and hugging on her. No, but, we're just like family now. <laughs> but uh, uh, in that respect, Brittany saved my life. 